Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2. In the last episodes we've slowly begun constructing our empire in space, but so far we've only colonized one one uh, planet that was not in our system. But the system is actually really nice, so I guess I'll go on and and also and also colonize the other planets here because they're all rather research rich if they're small and something that's not so good, but the other planets that we could that we could go to are not better. If I exclude the Bolo planets, we have a small, rich planet, and then only abundant planets. Some of which are at least huge, which is okay. Where's where's this Enox system? No, I don't want to go to the humans. I trust them, the humans. I mean, but it's not like I are uh, abundant but heavy G. All right. Well, we should have planetary gravity generators rather soon, so... Oh, Galactic News Network. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most watched information source. The population boom on Mirror 2 has ended. Breakthroughs in birth control technology in the Nolem Empire has been blamed for the decline. Okay, so... That's finished, so there's no further population boom on this planet by the Nolams, whoever they are. That's good for us, I assume. You would also... No, it's all, all is poor here. It's, and the only planet that's not poor is uh, toxic. So... Valkyr next or Enoch planets next? I think both are equally interesting. Human spy steals automated factories. Why are you spying on me, man? I thought we were neighbors and stuff. Let's do a research treaty. If you're so interested in my research, we can research together. And a non-aggression pact. Good. Let's exchange stuff. Is there anything we might be interested in? Maybe the neuro scanner. For the nitron scanner. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, better fuel cells. Then we might have a bigger option of planets, but we would have also more contact with uh, races nearby. So no, I don't think I'll go for that. But we don't have any spies, too. So that's the problem. We don't have any defensive spies, so... They can just spy on us, and we can't do anything about that, really. We can only hope that they won't do that, but... Let's, let's face it, that's very... Uh, improbable that they just won't spy on us, so I guess I'll have to train some spies. How much more money do you need? Okay, eight turns, so... Let's say... a couple of turns? Okay, they also colonized Thais planet now, which is nice. But I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna colonize it anyways, because it's so far away from uh, from our people. Why are you all farming? You're only farming to support this one guy, which is not very effective, at least. So I could build a soil enrichment, and you could farm, but need lesser people for that. Uh, hydroponic farm, maybe. I'm not sure. You could, could you could start building colony bases, though, which I think would be more interesting. Just build colony base, and I think some of you can go to work. At least one of you can go to work, so that this will, won't take so long. I should have a closer eye on that because if uh, a colony needs food, if if it can produce food, it will it will always try to uh, make people to, uh, to produce food instead of uh, in, instead of setting them to construction, which is sometimes not what you want because our, our our home planet still produces more food than they need themselves, so they can basically transfer at least some of them some of those uh, food to Bolo. So. We don't need Bolo to produce that. But we need this colony ship now, please. Oh, I forgot to look, look for something. Yeah. This planet is full, so actually there's no no further population growth at the moment. But since the next uh, next building that, that they're gonna build is uh, the biospheres, which increased the population by 2 million, this will hopefully change a little bit. So, we have a colony ship now. I think I'll go to... Valkyr, no, Enoch is, is about as good because we're really close to finishing that research. So, let's go, yeah, they're both equal. 
let's just go here. Yes. So I need an automated factory, a cloning center, and then I'll change it to gravity generator, the next one. But only as soon as we've finished researching that. Come on. Yes, thanks. Graviton beam. Gravity waves that tear a target apart. Inflicts 3 to 15 points of damage. Any damage penetrating the ship's shield inflicts extra structural damage. Planetary gravity generator creates an artificial gravity to normalize a planet to standard gravity limits. Gravity generators eliminate the negative effects of low and heavy gravity fields. Tractor beam. It acquires one tractor beam per size class of target ship to completely stop the target. Ships not held completely lose a portion of movement. Move motionless ships can be boarded and are easy targets to hit. Yeah, I know. I know that. Good. I guess next I'm um, going to increase uh, to, to uh, make some further research in construction so our productivity will improve. I mean, our productivity will vastly improve now that we can build these gravity generators because that's what's holding Bolo back basically. They, they could produce much, m much better than even our home planet could if they didn't have this miny, uh, this minus 50% uh, malus hanging over their head. So we're gonna even speed that up. You're gonna build that after those. Maybe even before those, I'm not sure. No, I think you're, you're gonna build that after those. Then a marine barracks, a research lab, and then you can basically do what you want. I don't care much. At the moment, at least. So, we have a gravity generator there now. And our productivity has increased by a lot margin, by a large margin, which is almost as good as in our home planet. Which is quite a quite a larger number of people. So we have too much food actually now that the planetary gener that the gravity generator has been completed. So we don't need as much farmers here. So we can even increase the productivity of the planet, which is good, which is very good. So so we've trained our first spy. This is GNN bringing you today's headlines from across the galaxy. While carrying out secret high-level experiments, Larian scientists stumbled upon the secret of artificial intelligence. Oh. Battlepods. Battlepods increase the available space on the ship by 50%. Survival pods. Provide suspended animation facilities for legendary officers if their ship is destroyed. At least one friendly ship must survive the combat to rescue any surviving officers. Two pods. Two pods house additional detachments of space marines, doubling the number of marines on board a ship. The additional marines can defend the ship or board enemy ships. Alright. I haven't really gotten into much of those things concerning space combat because so far we haven't needed it, but I think at some point we're gonna run into other uh, spacefaring races that will not be as uh, cooperative as the humans are at the moment. And even the humans are trying to spy on us, which I, I don't blame them. I mean, we, we were an easy target to spy on because we didn't have any defensive spies ourselves, and now that we have, they're, they also stopped spying. Maybe they wanted. Maybe they they also found what they what they were looking for. Maybe they were only interested in the automated factories that they have now too. So I don't know, but at least they stopped spying for the moment, which is good. So then we can continue to be on our best behavior, sort of. So I'm gonna speed up this automated factory because so far Enoch hasn't been producing e efficiently at all because they have minus 50% because of the heavy gravity further minus 20% because of the loss of morale there, so this worker who could produce three minerals actually only produces one, which is very slow, so I'm gonna invest a little bit of my money and now the automated factory is finished. So now it can actually construct something r sort of effectively, I mean it's not very effective, but at least it's sort of effective. So Bolo is continuing to build the colony base, which is what I want. They can also construct the soil enrichment, so I need less farmers in the future. And then another colony base, I think. I think Bolo is trying to to, uh, to continue the, the colonization of the system, because the system is actually rather nice. Where our home planet constructs a new spy, and we have new research. Armor Barracks creates tank battalions. It has two units when built and adds one unit every ten turns, up to half the planet's population. Eliminates the moral penalty for dictatorships and feudal governments. 
Fighter Garrison. Planetary base that houses 10 interceptors. Fighter Garrison are, are equipped with 6 bomber or 4 heavy fighter squadrons when the appropriate technology becomes available. New fighters become available every 10 combat turns. Spaceport. Site for commercial transactions, increasing the money generation of a colony by 50%. That's good. But what I'm more interested in even is the next research, which is, which is robotics. But I think I'm gonna stop this by production here and uh, build a space have, have a spaceport built instead because that's this will increase the money that has been generated here and they also they already generate most of our money so with a spaceport I hope that will increase even you can also build a spaceport but after the soil enrichment I guess So once you're done with the spaceport, I don't think I need any of those things. I think I'd rather have a new colony ship so we can further colonize a new planet. So now the colony base on Bolo was, was constructed, so it asks us now which planet we want to colonize next. I think I'm going for Bolo 5 first. So, we'll just do our standard order of, not, not armor barracks, automated factory, then cloning center, then gravity generator, and then I don't care what you do. Just give me some money every now and then, that would be fine. Oh! Scouts arrive at the Donata system. Ancient artifacts. An extremely advanced civilization once inhabited this world and has in inexplicably disappeared, leaving relics of wonder that adds plus two points to research generated by each scientist on the planet. The first player to discover the system gets one or two free technology advancements. Yay! These systems are actually really interesting because they're basically the only way to increase research. So if we build a colony here, which I think I will, uh, we can make it a good research colony. I mean, it's the desert, it's only abundant in, researches, uh, in, in resources, so I don't think I'll, I, I'd need it to build stuff. I'll just I, I just would be very interested to build it as a research base. So I think I'm gonna do that. And we also discovered the secrets of augmented engines, which we don't really need. Thanks. Sometimes you get useful things. Uh, sometimes you find useful things on these uh, uh, ancient uh, ancient artifact worlds. But this time it was just a, a technology that isn't very useful in my point of view. So, how long does a colony ship take? A lot. Yeah. That's bad, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes. So, I think I'll, I'll uh, switch one of the farmers here to a worker, so the soil enrichment gets uh, done earlier, and when this is done, we'll produce even more food here, so I can, f I can I can reassign an additional farmer somewhere else, maybe even on Mentar, to get another researcher or another worker, I'm not sure. I think for now I'll go with a worker, I mean, a scientist would also be very interesting of course, but since they're building the next colony ship and Bolo 4 is better in productivity, oh. Uh, congratulations, guys! You're a f you're now the main construction uh, colony for me. That's good. So once Mentor is done with the colony ship, I think I'll just keep them as the main colony and a research base. But they can auto build whatever they want to build. So talking about building, the automated factory is now a little cheaper than the full price. So I'm gonna buy it so that Bolo 4 has a sort of productivity boost. Good. Good. So, I could speed that up too, but I don't really see a reason why I should. Let's just go on. Bolo Forest built a spaceport, that's good. Then they're gonna build a colony base. And then... I would really like a star base, so that you can actually build larger ships, because as we see here now, and I think I've already talked about this earlier, because Bolo Ford doesn't have a doesn't have a star base, they can only build small ships, which means the very smallest ships, which are uh, in, uh, in the frigate class, and the next largest ships, which are the destroyer class. Further, big, uh, further bigger ships they actually cannot build, so 
I probably want to build a star base at some point rather soon, so I'll do that. After the after the colony base, of course, because there's still very interesting planets here. Uh, ultra rich but toxic and heavy G. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's fun. Toxic worlds are even worse than uh, the barren worlds. The barren worlds are just you can't produce any f any food there, but that's it. They don't have any further any, any further any further penalties. On toxic worlds, however, in addition to not being able to produce food and absolutely having no chance to change that in the entire game, which on barren worlds you do have. Yeah, we we, we already researched we already researched terraforming. We can actually make this world more uh, more habitable now if we want and want to invest large uh, large amount of, of, of productivity or money but the, the the toxic worlds will always stay as they are and in addition all the buildings that we construct there will cost 50% more uh, of maintenance every turn so this basically simulates that this world is very as as the name says toxic and if if we want to build stuff there then it'll probably get 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 damaged more often by, I don't know, storms and whatever, by the environment basically, and uh, because of that, building stuff there is very is very expensive, but this planet actually is ultra rich, which, which means uh, every worker we have there produces 8 uh, productivity per worker, which is more than even the rich planets do, which do 5, so if we could get around the, the penalties, which with a planet gravity generator we can. It could actually be a valuable construction site, but I think I'll go for the other barren planet first, because yeah, I'll, I think I'll go there first. Battle station. Heavily armed starbase with plus 5 parsec scanning range bonus. Adds plus 10% to the offensive ships and combat around it replaces a starbase. Powered armor provides troop with, uh, troops with superior power and mobility by mechanically magnifying their natural strength. Powered armor equipped troops have a plus 10 bonus to their combat rating and take plus 1 hits to kill. Robo miners automatic, uh, automate many difficult tasks, increasing the productivity of industrial workers. Generates 10 production and increases the production each worker produces by plus 2. Which is really awesome, I'd say. So, next, I think. I'm gonna go into this little bit of sociology to, to catch up there a little bit because I could have I should have researched that much early much earlier, but I chose not to. So now we can construct robo miner plants, which are even better than the uh, automated uh, automated construction sites that we already have everywhere, and they further increase our productivity, which is good. But as we see on Bolo, the large productivity actually has has the problem of the additional waste that is produced. So it could actually produce much more, but uh, because it produces so much and we don't have much things done about uh, eliminating waste yet, uh, it, it does have this waste problem that uses much of its production via waste, which is wasteful. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, that was a bad joke, I know. A defending spy was killed. What? You're actually trying to spy on me again? Oh, you are. Even with seven spies at the moment. Okay. That's interesting. What are you tr what are you trying to accomplish, man? Let's just talk about this. Let's just I exchange tech. I'll ask you for your deuterium fuel cells, though. I'm going to research that very soon, so I could ask him to stop spying, which, if if our relationship is good, will most likely result in, in, in him saying, yes, I'll stop spying, but then he'll start again in some turns, so it's only a, a short-term solution. But if bad things happen, it actually can provoke war if I demand him to stop spying. But I don't think this is gonna be the case, so I'll just let that pass. But prepare for that by building further spies rather soon. But first, the colony ship because I really want the colony ship. I really want to want to colonize the artif the ancient artifact world. So let's go there first. No, you can construct that on your own. Space Academy trains ship crews, adding one to their starting level. Ship station in system gain two experience each turn. 
Yeah, this is an important building for constructing ships somewhere because it helps the ships to come out with a bigger experience level, which means they're more likely to hit stuff and less likely to be hit. So this is important. Good, but uh, I think the time is already over. I don't actually take a look at the timer, I'm sorry. So if this was not 20 minutes, then I'm sorry. I guess, I'll, but, but I guess it was much more. Colonized an additional system now and uh, Bolo is, is starting to get really good. So we'll see how this continues in the next episode. Thanks for watching and bye!